Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandra. If you're new here, in today's video, I'm going to try out new drugstore makeup and I'm super excited to film this video for you guys because I went today to the drugstore and I got a bunch of new things. So if you want to see how everything worked out, please keep watching. But before we get started, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please down below and ring the notifications bell and now we can actually get started. I'm so excited to try out everything, yeah, 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 okay, enough. So I'm super excited because today I went to the drugstore, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> okay, one more time. So let me show you what I got and we're going to try out everything together and see if it works, if it's a gimmick, if it's going to look nice. Also, don't mind my hair, it's a little bit weird, I didn't know what to do with it. So I just put it like in a ponytail and yeah, as you can see, I already did my brows because I want this video to be quicker. I don't want my video to be super, super long. So that is why I did my brows. I, as I said, I went to the drugstore. I have here a bag full of things. I know it's a Sephora bag because I put everything in the same bag. I didn't want to carry like two bags. That is the reason why I have everything in this bag. So um, here the drugstore is called Primar. It is a Spanish brand and it's like the most affordable one. And so I went there today and I got a few things. And as you can see, I have nothing on my skin because the first thing I got is this face brush to clean your face. This is a super soft um, special brush in order to clean your face and yeah. Let's go ahead and give it a try. This was five euros 50 and it looks very interesting. So let's go ahead and give it a try. This feels already super soft and very cute. It has like a little thingy here. It feels really nice. It was very inexpensive and it is from the brand Moi. I don't know if you know this brand, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. I have here a wet towel and I'm gonna wet my skin. I'm just gonna use it like around here, you know, not on my forehead because I did my brows and I don't want to mess up my brows. I'm gonna take some cleanser and I'm gonna add it to my skin. Now I'm gonna take this little brush and see what's what it's gonna do. Yeah, I definitely should have like wet this brush because I think there's not enough liquid on my face. Okay, this feels really nice. It's not harsh on the skin at all. I just don't know if I would use this every single time, but I feel like this can definitely like deep clean your face better than if you're just using your bare hands. So I'm just gonna take some water and because I feel like it kind of sunk into the skin. Okay, so I'm back. I actually wet this with some water and I feel like it's cleaning a bit better. But I feel like it's not very comfortable to use. It's a little bit too, like the shape is not very, very comfortable for your hand. So I feel like it's always slipping <laughs> out of my hand, but it does feel very, very nice on the skin. I will have to keep on using it and see how well it works. So far, I mean, like first impression, I think it was really nice on the skin, super gentle. The only thing, like the only bad thing I have to say is that the handle is not the best. But yeah, besides that, I think it's a pretty interesting item. And yeah, let's go ahead and try out the next item I got. Okay, next item I got that I'm so excited to try out is this Jade Roller and Gua Sha Duo. This is from Eco Tools, and everyone has been using these two items on the internet. Everyone has been saying that it changed their skincare routine and that it feels amazing, that it plumps up your skin, it gets the blood flowing, and apparently it is very good for the skin. So as I said, this is from Eco Tools. It was $13.99, which is a very, very good price for both of these products. And now let's see if it's gonna do something. All the reviews that I've seen, people say that you need to use it for a few weeks. I'm like the messiest person when I open things. This is how I, it looks. I broke, basically broke everything, but anyway. So this is how these two products look next to each other. Um, they feel pretty good quality and yeah, I'm very interesting to try these out. I've never used anything like this in my entire life. 
Um, I usually just try to do my skincare as fast as I can. I can't really be bothered to, you know, to add more to my skincare routine. But, you know, once you reach a certain age, you really want to increase your skincare routine and just do all the things to have a beautiful, beautiful skin. Well, at least. I would like to. Actually, I'm gonna add some moisturizer first because I washed my skin and I want everything to be nice and plump. Also, if you wanna see my full skincare routine, I will link my Instagram channel down here and you will see a reel about it because I cannot really promote the brand on YouTube. I can only talk about it on TikTok and Instagram. For some reason, they don't wanna be talked about on YouTube. So I'm gonna tell you there in that reel what products I use and you can also have like a discount code. So yeah, definitely make sure to try it out because this brand is amazing. So yeah, you definitely need to try it out. Okay, so I've seen people on the internet basically doing this. Okay. Is this how you're supposed to do it? Like lifting i mean the quality feels really nice but i feel like you need to use this for quite a while and then here i've seen people do it like this not really sure what i'm, what I'm doing but yeah this definitely feels nice on the skin it feels very cooling so now i'm gonna take this little guy and this one feels even more cooling on the skin. Ooh, I like this one better. I feel like this one is easier to use. Okay. You're supposed to go up, I think, you know, to like lift everything. This feels really nice on the skin. I'm telling you, you should definitely try this. And especially like here. Okay, I don't know if I will have time to do this every single day, but I will definitely try and give it a go and i will let you know in a week or two if this actually improved my skin <laughs> um yeah let's move on to the next product oh there's a, there's also like a little one here so i'm gonna keep on researching and see and let you guys know what else <laughs> so i finally got my hands on the sephora best skin ever i can't even remember the name um this is a foundation that is that has a perfect natural finish long wear and everyone has been raving about it and i finally went to sephora to get it this is technically drugstore because it is a it is from the sephora brand this was 17.99 i think let me check so it was not too expensive but it was not like super cheap either um this was 17.99 and it has 25 milliliters so i got mine in shade 20n i don't know if this is my correct shade I really hope it is because if not, well, I'm definitely not going back <laughs> for another um, shade. This is so satisfying, like when you manage to get it. <laughs> okay, so this is how the packaging looks without the plastic. It is very matte, feels very smooth. The packaging looks really, really nice. And I'm gonna give it a shakeroo. Okay, so this is the texture. It feels very, not very, but it is quite thick. So it's not that runny foundation. I'm gonna take actually my finger and apply it. Then I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender or a brush. So when I went to Sephora, I saw that it oxidized a little bit. So you have to be careful when choosing your shade range. Just wait a little bit to see how it changes on your head. I'm actually gonna take my earrings off, out. So yeah, just wait a little bit until the color changes because otherwise, if you don't wait to see the exact shade you're gonna get, um, it's gonna be a lot darker and it's not gonna be your correct shade. So I think I'm just gonna use a brush and blend it out, but so far, this looks very promising. Wow, it's quite medium coverage because I feel like I added quite a bit of product and it is not too, too crazy intense. Um, I'm gonna add a bit more and I'm gonna blend it out with the beauty blender this time. Okay, here we go. I see like now it has a lot more coverage. Oh my God, this looks really nice. What? 
This foundation is really nice. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Wow, this looks incredible. I'm very, very happy. It is not too, too matte, which is great because I don't like very, very matte foundation. I like it to be a bit luminous. So if you want a less, like a more, less coverage foundation, I feel like using it with a brush is perfect. But if you want more coverage, use a beauty blender and it will give the most intense coverage on your skin. Loving it. Honestly, really, really nice. Okay, so let's move on to the next product. Um, I'm probably gonna do a review, like a full wear test. It is too late now to do a full wear test because it is currently 1740, so it's 22.6. Uh, so I'm not gonna stay with this foundation for that many hours. So tomorrow I'm gonna wear it again and I will let you know in the comments down below if it looked nice throughout the day and if it lasted a long time. Tomorrow I have a barbecue with my parents, they're coming over. So I'm definitely gonna wear this again and I'm gonna wear it for a few hours, for probably like the entire day and I will let you know in the comments if it were nicely or not. But so far this looks really nice, so let's go ahead and try the next product. I don't have a new concealer or a setting powder, so I'm just gonna do my concealer and setting powder real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I added the concealer and powder to my skin, I can see that this foundation is really, really nice on the skin. I feel like it covered everything and it is really nice on the skin, like super full coverage. It doesn't look weird. It is looking just super glam. So let's continue, but this looks very promising. What else did I get? Okay, I really wanted to get, um, so I found this new brand and it is called Da Poop. <laughs> I mean, what brand is this? When I saw it, I was like, what is this? And I got the pressed powder bronzer. And, ugh, come on, I'm in the middle of a video, stupid train. So I got the pressed powder bronzer, as you can see right here, and also got the eyeshadow palette. This was so inexpensive. So let me tell you, so the pressed powder bronzer was $3.99 and the eyeshadow quad was $4.99. So that is a bargain, okay? Now let's see if it is actually good. So I'm gonna start with the bronzer because I'm super curious. I hope I got my right shade. They only had two shades for bronzer. And yeah, let's see if this brand, oh, original. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have this brand in your country. So yeah, I don't know if it's an indie brand or what. Let me show you the packaging if I can get it out. So this is how it looks. Oh my God, it is so cute. It even has a mirror. Oh my God. You guys, this is so cute. Focus. And also when I swatched it at the store, it was so buttery, that's why I got it. Let me show you how it looks on the skin. So here it is swatched and it feels so incredibly smooth on the skin, really nice. I love the packaging, it's super cute. And this is shade, feels so good, tasty mocha. So, enough talking, and let's go ahead and try this out. I'm so, so, so excited. This is a matte bronzer, and I cannot believe that for $3.99 you get a bronzer with a mirror. This is just insane. Okay, so, mm, let's start hanging it on the skin and see the tea. Okay, I think I should have gone the darker shade. This feels a little bit maybe too light for me. Actually, no, it's fine. I should have not added under my eyes. <laughs> uh, I'm a mess today. Okay, now I'm gonna add some of it to the other side. Um, I don't know what to say. It's a little bit too orange. I feel like it's really nice, but I feel like I would use this more as a um, blush. Maybe not as a bronzer, but it is very pigmented. I thought it would be too light for me, but actually it is not. It is my shade, but it is blending out really nicely. That's for sure. Um, I feel a little bit like rural because I added a bit too much on my nose. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't know what to think yet. 
I think I still need to try it out for a few more times. The thing is, I'm so used to my hourglass bronzer because it is the best bronzer in the entire planet. So that is why another bronzer cannot compete with that one. But I think it's cute. I mean, it blended out really nicely. It looks really nice on the skin. I'm adding quite a lot. It's very buildable. The only thing that I don't like is that it is a bit too... It's a bit too corally, like too... I don't know. I prefer a different shade of a bronzer, but it's nice. It's nice. It is nice. For the price point, I mean, come on. Okay. I do like it. I do like it. I think it's, it's nice. Let's move on to the um, eyeshadow quad. I managed to get this off. I got the plastic thingy off. And this is how the eyeshadow quad looks. I am obsessed with the packaging. It is very cute. As I said before, this was $4.99 and the shades are gorgeous. They had three different eyeshadow quads, but this one was the one that I liked the most. The mirror is also really nice. It is huge. And yeah, I'm super excited to try these out. I love this. It's quite luxe, even though it was only $4.99. I'm very excited to try this out. Let me get a sip of my coffee. Um, yeah, how have you guys been lately? I actually got, I went to CrossFit the other day and I got a, like a, I was doing an exercise and my back went pop <laughs> and basically for three days this is the third day i had to lay in bed today was the first day i could actually move a bit and we went with the car to the drugstore i just bought like a few things and then i came back home so i basically had to sit down or lay down the entire time because yeah as i said i, I felt like a pinch in my back when i was doing um i'm gonna start with this shade by the way in my crease no actually i'm not i'm gonna add primer and then I'm gonna add this. So as I was saying, um, when I was working out, I was doing CrossFit, um, I felt like a pinch in my back. And yeah, that was the end of it. I continued the workout, so I finished the workout, which was not a good thing. I shouldn't have continued to work out, but I thought, ah, it's nothing. And actually it wasn't nothing. So I had to basically lay in on the couch for three days and ugh, it was horrible and i'm just so excited and so happy that today i'm feeling a bit better but for the past two days i couldn't even walk so i was walking like crooked and i was having so much back pain it was insane but thankfully i'm fine now i'm gonna add some some more of my favorite eye primer this is the primer from p louise I don't want another primer in my life. This is the best eye primer ever. I've tried many eye primers, but none like this one. So if you want to invest in a good one, it's not even too expensive. It's like, you do have to pay $9 for shipping, but it is worth it. Actually, I think it's in pounds. It's like nine or 10 pounds. But anyway, if you want to get it, get it. It's amazing and so worth it. Okie dokie, are you choky? So I'm going to start with this shade right here. Actually, I don't want to start with the darker one. I'm going to start with this one first, and then I'm going to add this one and see the team and see if these will blend nicely and yeah okay so far <laughs> this is not showing up well not too much anyway can you see something i cannot see anything okay i'm adding so much product and it is barely like barely showing up i'm gonna do the same on the other side just to make it even but you can't really tell yeah this is not a very good shade. Okay, let's go ahead and try the brown one. Okay, I'm gonna actually try this one first in the crease. Okay, this is much more pigmented. And now I'm gonna mix I'm gonna mix mix these two together, like these two brown ones. But yeah, this is way better. Um and I'm gonna use circular motions to blend it out. Okay, this is much much more pigmented. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. By the way, today we are taking down the Christmas tree. It is the 28th, I think, of January. And we still didn't take down the tree. Actually, my boyfriend, Alex, he's taking it down. And I'm very sad because I love my Christmas tree. It is so pretty and I love Christmas and I really don't want Christmas to go away. Every year 
I get really sad when Christmas ends, but you know, it is life. Okay, so this is actually looking really nice. This shade is a lot better than the first one that we used, which is this one right here. I feel like that one didn't do anything, but this blended out really nicely. And now we're gonna continue with this orangey one right here. I'm gonna add this to my crease, like right here. I'm gonna take this shade right here, this orange shade, and I'm gonna add it just like in the middle of the crease and see Wow, this blends out really nicely too. And now I'm gonna add, cause I wanna use like almost every single shade. Now I'm gonna add this one right here to my lower lash line. Whoa, okay, wow, this is like super pigmented. And now I'm gonna mix it in with this brown one right here. Okay, all of these shades were super pigmented. I think I used all the matte shades. There was just that one that was not blending out. Not that was not blending out, that wasn't really showing up. But besides the first one that we used, everything honestly is very pigmented. I'm gonna take a bit more of this dark brown and add it to my crease because I'm trying to darken this look a bit. It is looking way too orangey. So I'm gonna add it to my outer corner. Okay, and now these three shades, like these two and this one, which are the most glittery one, I'm gonna swatch them and then I'm gonna pick one and add it to my lid. So I'm gonna swatch this one first. Whoa, okay, this is super pigmented and very, very highlighty and beautiful. Now I'm gonna swatch the one in the middle next to it. Whoa, oh my God, what? You guys, what is going on? Look at this, these are so shimmery and beautiful. They have like a beautiful sheen to it. This one is also shimmery, so I'm gonna swatch this one as well. It is more rosy. Okay, these are really nice. Let me show it to you. Okay, these are very, very beautiful on the skin. Okay, so this is how they look. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with, I always go in with the bronzy one, so maybe I should change. No, I'm gonna go in with this one and maybe mix it in with this one. So first I'm gonna apply it with my finger. By the way, they feel very, very buttery smooth. And now I'm gonna add it, oh my goodness, look at this, what? I'm in shock, you guys. These are so, okay, there's a bit of a fallout, but that's fine. These are very, pigmented and very creamy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush, but this is like crazy pigmented. I'm in shock, you guys. How does this even exist for $3.99 or $4.99? Now I don't remember, I think it was $4.99. But this is really beautiful. The only thing is that it has a bit of a fallout, but you know what? I honestly don't mind it because the intensity is crazy okay i'm gonna take that same shade from here i'm gonna add it to the other eye this is like a foiled eyeshadow it definitely has a lot of fallout i can see it but you can use like a um primer for glitter and then you won't get any fallout that is my trick with any eyeshadow that has fallout but yeah oh well, i'm gonna take that brush from before and i'm gonna blend it out Okay, and now I'm gonna take this one right here, which is more bronzy, and I'm just gonna add it next to this one in the outer corner, just with my finger, because I already have like so much going on, and I don't wanna look too crazy. But I'm very impressed, like this is insane. Okay, so now it is time for mascara. I finally got the full size, size up mascara from Sephora. I actually got this in a sample from when I went to Sephora and this is how the sample looks like and I've been using it since. This obviously finished up and I really wanted to get the full size because I loved this mascara so much. It's like one of the best mascaras that I have tried so far and that is saying a lot because I've tried a lot of mascaras. So I'm gonna add this so you guys can see. This is how the wand looks like. It makes your lashes so transpassing. <laughs> um, it makes your lashes so fluffy and voluminous. And you guys, 
really neat to try this mascara out. I'm gonna show you. I have really small, tiny lashes, and with this mascara, oh my god. This is not the size of mascara that I wanted. Why is it? Yeah, it is the same one, but I feel like the wand is different. It's not the same wand, you guys. What? <gasps> it is not the same wand. Do you see? This is not the same wand, you guys. This is a different wand. Okay, this is very upsetting. Did they scam me or what? This feels like a different wand. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Okay, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Because I don't know why. I feel like it's a different mascara. Or maybe not. No, it is the same one. I think I'm going crazy. But it just looks a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna continue applying it. Yeah, it's the same mascara. <laughs> I thought it was a different one. I'm like, why would you call it the same and have like a different one? I add like 500 coats because as I said, I have really tiny, ugly lashes, very short lashes. So I need many coats. But yeah, this is definitely the same mascara. Okay, this is how it looks with quite a lot of coats. Now I'm gonna do the bottom lash. As you can see, my lashes are gorgeous. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> this is like a circus. <laughs> okay, next up, I actually have three lip products. So we're gonna add the lips. Oh no, I forgot the highlighter. I got a highlighter as well, hold on. Um, so while the lashes are drying, I'm gonna add the highlighter, showing the highlighter, and then I'm gonna add some lashes. So, I got this Revolution Super Highlighter, and this was new, this looks really gorgeous, and this is shade Rose. So, this is how it looks on the inside. It is a very, very, like, potent. Here it is, swatched. I didn't get to swatch it at the store, actually, but this is how it looks swatched on my hand. It doesn't feel too, too crazy intense, but I'm gonna take one of my favorite brushes from EXO Beauty. This is the Detail Face Brush, and I'm gonna try out this highlighter. Okay, yeah, this is really intense. Okay, I thought it wasn't as intense, but this is bomb. Wow, this is very beautiful. I love it. This was, let me see how much this was. This was $3.99, which is really a really good price. Now I'm gonna add it to the other side, of course, and also to my nose area, the chin, and what's left of it on the... Also, um, I got like mascara under my eyes, so I'm just waiting for it to dry. Then I'm gonna take a Q-tip and remove it safely. So I'm also gonna um, add some of this highlighter to my inner corner, and I'm gonna use the same mirror from the palette that I used before. This is a beautiful highlighter very inexpensive you guys really need to try this out so honestly everything i've tried so far worked out really nice and um it was actually worth it oh everything is looking really nice so far i'm gonna take a bit of this darker brown right here and I'm gonna add it to my lower lash line, just like underneath, like a bit more darkness. And I'm just using my favorite Morphe B75 brush. You guys really need this brush. It is the best. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. I have now some lipsticks to try out, which is very exciting. And actually, I'm gonna add some lashes real quick and I'll be right back. You know what? I'm not adding lashes. I want this look to shine and I'm gonna leave it as is. I cannot be bothered to add lashes. Well, maybe I'll add them later, we'll see. Okay, so I was so impressed. I was gonna just get this lipstick, but the girl at the store told me that I had to get the lip liner as well. So this is the lipstick called Sephora Rouge Lac. And this is shade 21, no regrets. And when I swatched this, I felt like it looked very similar to um, the lipstick from Tarte, like the new ones, the lip balms. I felt like it had a very similar texture to it. And this is how it looks. It's very, very pretty. It's a perfect nude shade. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so you guys can see. But this is how it looks. It has a bit of a sheen to it and it is like the most perfect. Um, it is, yeah, it has like a sheen to it, which I loved. I wanna try the lip liner first. Apparently these last a very long time. This is the Lip Stain Liner and 40 Pink Tea. And this is how it looks 
swatched next to the lipstick. It's very, very gorgeous. It's like a beautiful, beautiful nude to see how it looks. And apparently, yeah, this is supposed to stay all day long. Oh my God, this shade is so gorgeous. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. I love this. Let me tell you the price. This was $9.99, pretty good price. Okay, let's continue. This shade is gorgeous. My camera is not focusing. Okay, this shade is so beautiful, gorgeous. I cannot believe that I didn't know about this. So I think that's a great price for a Sephora lip liner, especially if it's gonna stay on all day. So let's pair it up with the lipstick and see how it's gonna look. But so far, this looks so promising. This is so gorgeous. Oh my God. Okay, you guys. I need to stop. Um, sorry. <laughs> this is like the most beautiful combination I've tried out in a really long time. This is very, very gorgeous. I am obsessed with this lipstick. It is very similar to the one from Tarte. You know these ones from Tarte, the Maracuya Juicy Lip. I feel like it has a vibe this one is nude when the ones from maracuya that i have are not nude but they also had like a nude one these are more like a rosy but it definitely has a vibe like it feels very creamy it has that sheen to it it's just gorgeous this is incredible this is like the perfect nude combination for your lips okay i need to stop another lipstick that i got is this one from revlon and i don't know if i should add it on top of this one or just remove it and try it out. I don't know. Or just swatch it because I really don't want to remove this lip combo. It is very gorgeous. So this lipstick from Revlon is called Bear Affair and it's number 44. Apparently this went viral and everyone was saying that it is the best um, lipstick out there for every skin tone and blah, 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 blah. What? Okay. Okay. This is, look at this. This is really beautiful. This nude lip. Lipstick? Lip? <laughs> okay, I need to stop. These are, what? Is this a dupe? Okay, look at this and look at this one. I'm gonna swatch these next to each other. Hold on. I just cleaned my hand and I'm gonna swatch these two like next to each other because I wanna see, why is there so, <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. I almost broke it. <gasps> <sighs> Calm down. So, um, look what I did. Do you see? Anyway, I'm gonna swatch the Revlon first, and then I'm gonna swatch the one from Sephora. Okay, it's not a dupe, it's not a dupe. I almost freaked out, I thought it was a dupe, but they are a bit similar. This is the one from Sephora, and this is the one from Revlon. So I think what I'm gonna do, because I don't wanna remove the one from Sephora, I think I'm just gonna add it on top of this one just to see how it looks. This one has less of a sheen to it, I think I prefer the one from Sephora much more. But this is pretty too, but I I want this one. I don't want the one from my one now. I want this one from Sephora. I'm gonna add this one back because I like it a bit more than the other one. This one is very, very pretty as well. It has more of a like rosier tone to it, this one right here. Um, but I'm definitely gonna wear this one as well. I just cannot remove this one from Sephora right now because it is my current obsession. I think that's everything. This video was all over the place. I think my camera is running out of battery. So as I was saying, this video was so fun to film and my favorite product was actually the lip combo. It is just so pretty and it looks incredible. I'm obsessed with this lipstick from Sephora. So this was my favorite product from everything that I got today. Honestly, this lipstick is just bomb <laughs> i really love this it looks very gorgeous and juicy the foundation looks really nice as well and yeah i think everything that i got was actually really really nice and there were no fails and i'm just very very happy with everything that i bought leave me a comment down below guys let me know if you guys enjoyed the video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video as always Toodle!